Hi guys, it's Mike from Ham Radio Rocks. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. I just picked up an internet radio that I'm going to have here at my office uh, streaming. Now, I had a squeeze box boom. Actually, I still have the squeeze box boom, but what has happened is the squeeze box server that this thing runs on uh, has been shut down. Um, this unit is pretty old, I would say at least uh, 10 to 15 years old when it came out uh, and it's time to replace it. Now I can use a server on my laptop. I can run a server that will connect to my laptop that will play on this device but it's kind of a pain because every time I turn off my laptop this thing will not work. Otherwise I would need to set up a dedicated server maybe on a Raspberry Pi or whatnot um, to be able to stream music in my office. So that got me thinking, well, what is out now that can replace the squeeze box boom? The squeeze box, I'm not gonna lie, it was a great unit. It sounded phenomenal. The bass, everything, just the mids, the highs, everything in this thing was just phenomenal. It was made by Logitech. Um, I wish they would actually come out with like a squeeze box boom too and, and just um, modernize it because I would buy it in a heartbeat. But for now, I think I found a pretty close replacement that I'm going to be unboxing right now. It's from Ocean Digital. This is the WR860. And this is, um, I'll put the link in the description. Um, and it's actually pretty reasonable. I think it was like $160. I'll put the link in the description um, if you wanna check it out. But I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing right now. And, um, and then we'll get it set up and we'll see how it works. All right, so let's see what we got. It's got a nice manual here. It's got a remote. Let me go ahead and get this out of the box. Okay, so this is what comes in the box. You got the radio, the WR860 from Ocean Digital. You have a remote. The batteries do come with it. And you have a nine volt power adapter. Get that in. Nine volt power adapter. And then let's take a look at the unit itself. This is the top, the volume, the power, looks like some presets, probably a favorite button, a home button, left, right. Uh, looks like the home button actually doubles as an EQ button. And we have a scroll and a select, which I probably pushes. Yep, clicks in and then you select. Um, this is the front of the unit. Let's take a look at the back. You got the power switch, the nine volt input, a USB, uh, a USB two, where you can put a USB stick in and stream music. It's got a micro SD, which is cool. An aux in, a line out, and a headphone jack. It also has an FM radio, got your antenna. Here, um, I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't have AM radio. I don't believe it has AM radio. I didn't see any advertisement about AM radio, but that would have been really cool, right? I don't know why we're getting rid of AM radio, right? We love AM on our, on our ham bands. So here is the Ocean Digital next to the squeeze box boom. You can see it's about the same length, but this is definitely thicker. Um, yeah. You would think that this unit might even have a better bass response because it's so, so much larger, but we will see. Okay, so I just turned it on. It's booting up here for the first time. It uses SkyTune in order to connect to its, um, its radio networks. I'm not sure if you can use other networks or if you're just locked into SkyTune, but I'll have to um, figure that out. Um, configure network, yes, we want to, so we'll use our wheel up here. Configure network. And then let's go add remove AP, add AP, we will scan. So there we go. So this is my Wi-Fi network right here. And so I'm gonna need to enter the password here and it's going to be done just like the squeeze box was you kind of have to turn the knobs and manually put the, the letters and numbers in 
Okay, so we're all connected here. Let's go into globe most popular. And let's see what we got. Okay. There's all kinds of different stations here. Let's say classic FM. Let's see what we get. Of saving money, because giving your appliances a power nap during peak hours okay. isn't just better for the planet. So it's working here. Um, let me go ahead and find something. I don't want to get a copyright strike on here for the music, so I will look at it myself here offline and then see what we come up with. So I had to actually um, mute the audio here. Um, because of the song that's playing, which is a great song, by the way, if you can see it on the screen. Um, but uh, I'm just going through the menu here. I was just getting acclimated with the radio. Um, it is a great radio. I want to say this is probably the best squeeze box replacement out there right now. I'm very impressed. The sound quality is excellent. Um, the amount of online radio stations that you can stream with this device is incredible. Um, right here, I'm actually searching because I didn't know if I was able to get uh, K-Rock out of um, Los Angeles. I like listening to that station. And um, sure enough, it was there and um, it streams uh, great. It sounds really, really good. Um, I was, the only thing about this device that I wish it had was an app, um, but it doesn't. But you can use the IP address from the device and actually do some control from the device. Um, and I'm going to post a screenshot here of what that looks like. So this is uh, a screenshot from my Mac, and um, you can see the three radio stations that I programmed in. I'm able to actually play, um, change the station from my uh, MacBook. Um, and also, I am able to control the volume and mute functionality as well. I'm not sure if it does much more than that. I'm still kind of investigating this device. All right, so I was able to play with the radio and listen to it uh, all day at work. And I got to say, the sound quality and the functionality is phenomenal. Okay, like I didn't think I was going to find a replacement for that squeeze box um, boom, um, but I finally have. And um, it's a great radio. Um, not only you can stream from the internet, you can also uh, stream via Bluetooth. You can use a USB stick. You can use an SD card. Um but I don't think I'll be using it for that. I think I'll just stream it, um, the internet stations I really like. Um, there's so many of them on there, just endless, that you can listen to. Um, I'm going to buy another one for the house. I have this one at work. Um, I like it that much. It's, it's just a phenomenal radio. Um, it would be a great, uh, great gift. I mean, if there's someone you know that uh, it's hard to buy for, man, that radio, if they love music, that radio is freaking, is, is pretty awesome, man, I got to say. Um, and... It's at Amazon. I put the link in the description. Um, it's 160 bucks. Um, you can't, you know, you can't lose with Amazon. I think you'll like the radio though. I really do. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and I really appreciate it. Have a great day.